Hey everyone, welcome to our channel Engineer's Choice Tutor. Today's lecture is all about digital signal processing and we are going to talk about its advantages, disadvantages and applications. Let's start with the advantages of DSP. Fine. So first advantage, DSP hardware is compact, reliable and less expensive. Plus, it's programmable, which means it can be customized to suit different needs. Okay. Now, let's come to the second advantage. So, storing digital data is a breeze. You can save digital signals on magnetic tapes or optical discs without any loss and it's super affordable too. Okay. Next. Upgrading the performance of a system is a piece of cake with DSP. Since the hardware is programmable, you can easily make changes and improvements. Fine. Let's go to the next advantage. So when it comes to accuracy, DSP systems takes the cake. They provide more precise results compared to analog system. So, Digital signal processing systems provide more accurate results. Is it clear? Now let's go to the last advantage. So basically digital hardware is less affected by changes in component values, temperature and aging. So you can rely on it to stay consistent even in different conditions. Okay. So these five are the advantages of DSP that I have mentioned over here. So for the notes, you can join our telegram group. I have provided the link in the description of this video. You can join that group and collect the notes from there. Fine. So let's move towards the disadvantages of DSP. Fine. Now let's move on to the disadvantages of DSP. So first, Digital processing requires additional devices like ADC and DAC converters, which can make the system more complex. Plus, the conversion process takes some time. Fine. We saw in the last lecture, right, that in digital processing case, we need analog to digital converter and digital to analog converter. Okay. This makes the system more complex plus the conversion process takes some time okay so this is one of the disadvantages of the dsp now second sampling leads to the loss of information so sampling a key part of digital processing can lead to a loss of information it's something to keep in mind when working with dsp fine dsp has a limited speed of operation Okay, while it's still pretty fast, there are some constraints to be aware of. So this is all about what? Disadvantages of DSP. Despite these drawbacks, the applications of DSPs are expanding rapidly thanks to the decreasing cost of DSP hardware. Okay, now let's explore some of the exciting applications of DSP. Thanks to advancements in programmable digital signal processors, we can implement more and more real-time applications in digital systems. The possibilities are endless. So get ready to dive into the world of DSP and discover all the amazing things it can do. Let's, st let's get started. Did you know that digital signal processing is super important in so many different fields of science and engineering? It's true. Let me give you a rundown of some of the cool applications. Right? So first, it is used in radar engineering. Fine. So DSP helps with analyzing and interpreting radar signals. The next is what? in sonar engineering similar to radar digital processing is used to process and understand 
sonar signals okay next is what speech processing this is where things get really interesting okay so distal processing is used for speech compression and decompression making it easier to store and transmit speech it's also used for speech recognition like converting voice to text or operating voice based security systems now next in the field of image processing so digital processing is used to compress and decompress images making them easier to store and transmit it's also used for image recognition in security systems now next in the field of biomedical so digital processing is used in various ways here for example ecg signals can help to predict heart diseases eeg signals are used to study brain behavior emg signals help study muscle condition and mri scans provides detailed image of the human body fine now next in the field of geology so seismic signals are processed digitally to determine earthquake and volcanic eruption magnitudes they can even be used to predict nuclear explosions okay next it is used in astronomy fields and then it is used in power electronics fields then it is also used for data compression and image compression which basically makes it easier to store on dvds now in communication field so signal received from radars are analyzed to detect flying objects and their velocity digital processing is also used for echo and noise cancellation in transmission channels and that's a wrap on the applications of dsp we hope you found this video helpful if you enjoyed it please consider subscribing to our youtube channel if you have any questions or concerns feel free to ask in the comment section thanks for watching